Hi, in this episode, I want to show you how you can handle the document that was generated by PDF Butter. In this example, the document was normally stored on the opportunity, but I actually want to store it on the account. So that's what we will do in this setup. Okay, I created an auto launched flow for this. And in this auto launched flow, I have created two variables. One variable called info, yeah, make sure it's a uh, variable that has to have the name info, always that name info. It's an apex defined type. Make sure you select this class yeah, after actionable flow underscore info and it's available for input. Next to that, I have a second variable. That variable is called leading document. So make sure it's always called leading document. It's apex defined and uh, look at the apex class name after actionable flow document. This will just be uh, presented to you in a drop down box, so you cannot mistype it. Uh, you can just select it from here. It's available for input. Make sure that this uh, checkbox is checked and that's about it. Okay, that's the two variables we need. Uh, you might ask why is this called leading doc document? Because uh, in certain cases you have also additional documents if you want to generate multiple documents in one go. And then it will have an, uh, an extra parameter called additional documents as well. Okay, now it's just leading documents. So first of all, what are we gonna, going to do? We need to get the account ID to which we want to uh, save our document. Okay, um, how we do that? We're gonna first query the opportunity via the record ID on the uh, info variable. Next up, I'm gonna select my account ID in this, uh, uh, from this opportunity because that's the one I'm gonna, going to need. Okay, now I have to delete the existing uh, link to the document. So when Salesforce generates or when we store a document in Salesforce, uh, a files, it's not actually uh, directly linked to this uh, to this record like the opportunity. There is a document and the document can have multiple uh, links to multiple uh, resources. Like it can be linked to your user, it can be linked to an account, it can be linked to the opportunity. So if you only want to have a link to the account, you first have to remove the link from the document to the opportunity. And that's what we're gonna do here. We're first gonna get the uh, uh, link uh, from the opportunity to the document. Uh, we do that by querying the object called content document link. Now, uh, filter on the field, and you will see that in the variable uh, leading document, that is just a, a, a property called content document link ID. So very easy, yeah? you will all uh, be very uh, easy to get the right uh, content document link immediately. Okay, same here, make sure to uh, select the linked entity and that's it. So uh, now we have our uh, content document link and of course then delete this do content document link, link. We don't need it anymore. What I have done as well is I've created a new resource for generating uh, a new record of content document link. So I can just say a new resource is of type variable. The API name is a new, a new uh, content, uh, content doc link, for instance. The date type is gonna be record in this case, and the object to use is content document link. So make sure to use this one. Okay, that's the variable I need. So I already have this variable right here. So this is the one I'm gonna use uh, and I'm gonna assign the correct values to it. Okay, let's do. Let's see what we need to do. We have to uh, assign the content document ID. So that's the actual physical document on the drive at Salesforce uh, where it's stored at Salesforce. Uh, also very easy. We are giving you this content document ID from the uh, variable leading document. So you can just select that here. Now we need the linked entity ID. The linked entity ID is going to be on our account. So it used to be the opportunity. Now it's going to be the account. So you can just uh, get the account uh, from the uh, get records we have uh, done earlier. And we're going to set a share type. In this case, I've set it to invert. 
the I stands for invert. Invert means uh, inherit the uh, uh, the sharing uh, from the record that it's linked to. So it means that it will inherit in this case the sharing from the account. Okay, cool. That's it. And then of course insert this new content document link here. Huh? That what you uh, what you expected. And then we will have linked this uh, documents to the account. Okay. My uh, flow is active as you can see and uh, yeah it's activated so this should should run now I have to configure that to run I'm gonna use my doc config and I'm gonna add a new actionable just like the one I have here so new actionable it's gonna be run lightning flow the actionable name is uh, relink uh, PDF to account. The class to use, okay, you can copy paste that from the Academy, of course. Here I'm just going to copy paste it from somewhere else. The API to use, call, copy paste it from the API name over here. So, okay, it's an after. So, after the document is generated, I'm going to make sure it's active and now I'm going to save it. So, okay, what will happen now uh, when I run this uh, doc config? It will first update my stage and next relink my documents to the uh, um, to the account. Cool. I have my uh, uh, opportunity right here. I'm just going to refresh it to make sure that there are no files. This one also has no files linked to it. Okay, now no files as you can see. Now I'm going to um, click the button here. So it will now generate this document uh, and it will has also relinked it. So if everything goes great and I refresh my opportunity, there should be no files. Yeah, exactly, no files. And when I go to my account and I refresh the account, go to related, you can see my file is actually there. So this is the file I have just created. It's uh, not linked to my opportunity, but it was actually relinked to my account thanks to my uh, thanks to my flow. That's it.